Hi guys, welcome back to my Cover Beauty channel. My name's Emma and today we are doing this uh, scalped look. It's just a play on um, people who assume that blondes don't have a brain, which clearly they do. Um, I mean, I'm a natural redhead, but I do dye my hair blonde. So yeah, um, I hope you like this look and if you do want to get this look, keep on watching. Hi guys, so the first thing I did was make the brain from a jelly mold with gelatin. Painted it with my flash palette. You're going to need a ball cap and some cling film. So I'm just cutting a circle out, just the width of the brain, because that's going to sit um, on your head so the blood doesn't go onto your hair. Because we will be cutting a hole in the ball cap to put the brain in. So yeah, so I've added my ball cap off camera with spirit gum. And I am adding third degree. So what you do is you basically mix A and B equal parts and then pop it onto your edges. But you're probably better off using liquid latex because it came out really bumpy and horrible. So yeah, um, outline where you're going to put your brain, where it's going to sit on your head nicely. And then you want to cut that hole out, leaving just a little bit of flappy skin behind. Probably best to get someone to help you do this because um, you may cut your hair off. <laughs> so now you want to put that clean film over your hair and then pop the gelatin mold into the cap. Uh, make sure it's secure and just wipe away the eyeliner we just did. Next we want to put some foundation on to blend everything in. Um, we are focusing just on the special effects so you can do any makeup look with this or even just leave the makeup, you don't even have to do that. Totally up to you. So yeah, using my flash palette with the brown, I'm just using like a wired textured sponge uh, just to give the bold cap a little bit of texture so it's not so flat. And I'm just using the brown again just to contour my head a little bit and the two lines on my forehead was a little bit dark so I've just gone back over that with a little bit of foundation and as you can see I've just done like my makeup and now add the blood and get that sprayed on there you can use any blood you want I couldn't find my scab blood so I'm gonna have to buy some more but do pop that on as well it'll make it extra gruesome and juicy and just take your textured sponge again and dab it with some blood and pop it all the way around the edge. Now you want to grab a cheap blonde wig that you don't mind uh, ruining. This was a pound from Poundland. Spray it with blood inside and then pop it on when you're finished. And now you are a crazy dumb blonde for Halloween. Oh, she's blonde. She's clearly dumb. Oh, are you having a blonde moment? Oh, don't trust her. She ain't got no brain. She's blonde. <laughs> I'll prove to you that I've got a brain. Right guys, this is the final look. I hope you all like it. Um, like I say, it's a play on things. It's just supposed to be like a little mini joke. Um, saying, well, people who say that blondes have no brains, they do. I got the ball cap from um, just a party shop. And if you can make your own ball cap, that, that'd probably be a hell of a lot better because the edges on this. So yeah. Um, if you can make your own ball cap, that'll probably go a long way. If you buy one of those, um, just the, the latex ones where you can um, dissolve the edges, they are a hundred million times better than these rubber ones. 
so yeah I did the best that I could but I'm still learning but yeah and the this one is just a jelly mold from Palmland couldn't believe it when I saw it because I've been looking for one of these for ages but I weren't paying like £10 for a bit of plastic on eBay so pound yeah that was just from a Halloween shop plastic and yeah um oh yeah this wig was a pound because I weren't going to be ruining my other wigs so I thought I'll get a wig from Poundland and it was and it, it's not bad actually if you're just going to wear it for like one night and like I've done I've just ruined it so yeah um I hope you like this look and if you've got any comments questions pop down below I'll always get back to you and yeah I can't wait to get on to my next look and I'm not sure what it's gonna be yet maybe another scary look maybe a sexy look we shall see but yeah got lots of cool content to come so please show me the love and click like and subscribe and yeah I will see you in my next video so take care and bye Mwah.